Okay, today I'm going to get you started with Visual Studio Code and Python. I'm going to assume you've already installed Visual Studio Code and .NET Core. Make sure, you know, if you need that, um, we're going to be doing a simple Hello World Python program. Now, let's first create a new folder, and I'm going to do it on my desktop, called uh, HWorld Hello World Python. Okay, empty folder. Now, you're also going to need to have Python installed on your computer. I've already done this. I installed version 3, and I will tell you, it installed it in a very strange place. See, under my, I, you need to know where it installs also. C, users, T-man, app data, local programs, Python, Python, all this long thing. You need to know where that is. So I put that in Notepad. All right, to find out where that is, you can go to Start Programs and then Find Python. Right-click on it or the shortcut. Right-click on it and go to Properties. And it will tell you where it's pointing to in your on your computer. So I'm at this long thing, and you're going to need to know that. Okay, so we have a folder, and I'm going to go into Visual Studio Code, File, Open Folder, HWorld Python. Now we've opened, we've opened our empty folder. Okay, I'm going to click on the plus sign here, add a new file. I'm going to call it HWorld.py. All right. Now we're going to need to install an extension. Go to your extensions. Down here, this weird square. Type Python. The top one, Python, linting, debugging. I'm installing this now. I got an error. I'm going to install again. This happened to me last time. OK, so I had some problems installing this extension. I went into some folders where the extensions are, deleted them. Um, I also need some others, but I'll leave this for now. So I've got Python installed, and I've got my folder. I'm going to open my folder again, HWorld. It's going to refresh. Now, I'm going to take a simple program, print hello. Here's something you need to know. You need to have Python installed. I installed version three of Python. Um, to do that, go to Google, install Python, and then uh, you need to have it installed. So here's my user path, and here's the sample code, print hello. Version three is, you have to be careful what kind of code you use because version two and version three is different. So if I do control shift B, it's not going to work. We need to do a control shift P as in pi. Go to task, configure task runner, pick others, and this is going to create a task.json file. Okay? We're going to need to change this so it knows where to point to our Python. Now, in other tutorials, I see people type in Python. And this doesn't work for me. I have to include the entire path to my Python install when I do this. So I have that here under C users, T man, this long thing. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. And I need to replace all the single backslashes with double backslashes because. Otherwise, it thinks it's the end of the line, and it will not work. So my entire Python path to my Python exe is here now. In the args, I'm going to need to put file. And it looks like this. It's file with a dollar sign and curly brackets. Show output always. Is shell command true? I'm going to save this. Now it knows where my Python is. Now I should be able to do a control shift B as in boy. And there you go, it says hello. Now if we wanted to go to the debugger, I should be able to 
hit run in Python. So what this is doing is it has a different configuration and it wants me to set up this configuration. Let's try to get the debugging working using the same style here. So we've got a command. Okay, so I had it working as I showed you with the task in the control shift. If I hit control shift B as in boy, it works. I have hello as the output here. But when I went to the debugger, which seems to have different settings, it uses launch.json. Now notice the different configurations. They have a name, of, this one has Python, this one has PySpark, this one is Python module, this one is integrated. So I noticed when we go to the debugger, it gives you all those options here. So I picked Python and I changed the Python path to my Python path, that really long, terrible Python and it worked. So now if I hit, let's hit debug. It says hello and it works. What if I hit hello and change it? Hello, hello. File, save. And then I hit debug. Run. So if I put a breakpoint here now and I go into my launch, it seems like there's two configurations. There's the task that we did before, the launch, and I put my long Python path in here. So for debugging, it has different settings. And I picked, see, this is the name is Python, and up here under debug, I picked Python. And I first of all, let's change it to wait print wait I'm gonna save it control shift B which builds it and then I'm now going to put a breakpoint here so it should stop there and run run it and notice that it stopped and I hit F10 or F or just hit step over it runs fine and everything's good okay so now we're able to debug let's do one more thing let's add a couple lines so we can really see it working I'm gonna print a bunch of junk a a a b b b c c c d d d I'm gonna put a breakpoint on the second line to prove to prove that we are debugging okay step over step over step over step over step over now the problem is I never built this I need to do a control shift B and then now I can debug it with a step over step over step over let's step into and step over all right, there it is. Hope this helps you.